Hello, uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office uh, with my patient Olick. And before we start our procedure, I'd like to wish everyone a very happy and healthy New Year out there and a, and a prosperous one. I know it's been a very long 2011, and uh, we're going to roll right into 2012 with some pretty nice procedural videos for both dentists and patients to watch. Um, First of all, uh, let me just explain. We're going to be on tooth number 14 today, and we've gone ahead and taken a preliminary impression on tooth number 14. Um, Oleg presents with uh, uh, a situation where he had a root canal done on a tooth uh, uh, where the nerve was involved. So now the tooth is, is syst syst uh, systemically and, and, and uh, symptom-free. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a nice... Um, crown preparation for this tooth and give him some nice parallel walls and good retention for not only his temporary but for his spinal uh, prosthesis. So uh, we've already anesthetized them. We're ready to go. And we're going to just go ahead and start off. I'm going to do a occlusal reduction first. I'm using about a 1.5 and 1.75 millimeter diameter uh, reduction. Let's start that first. So. And I'm just going to switch to a little more chip air. There we are. You okay, Oleg? Yeah. So I'll just take it down the depth of the burr, the diameter of the burr. And we'll stay in the three-plane preparation. There might be some viewers out there that are dental students. Uh, it's good to watch this if you're a junior. You get an idea on tooth preparation design. And I like to shoot for the three planes. So we'll do a occlusal reduction, and I just keep it in the shape of a V. And this tooth had some uh, previously restored areas. We're not only going to prep this tooth, we're going to check simultaneously the adjacent teeth for any issues that we may have. So I'm going to switch to a KS, a KS uh, tuber because I want the, uh, the diameter. I'm using a Leica microscope, so I'm going to use the power in, in the video now to, to now check the uh, the overall diameter. And you just switch burrs again. There we go. And you can see that's a pretty good depth right there. All the videos are live without any interruption or editing. We'll reverse now. So I'm going to switch places and just come over here just the opposite direction. I'm going to come in at the shape of a V. Let's see if I can show you that. We're going to come in from this angle. Because we want to create anatomy in this tooth. We want to build back in so that he has better chewing. And again. And. Water on the mirror, please. Good air. Yeah. And we'll 
with switching burrs again. I'll take your screen off on this one, Jen. Let's see if we get a little more power out of your suction. Out, please. And I'll just finish this prep now. Because it's a non vital tooth, I can come in here without any water as long as it's low RPM. That looks good. So that's the first step. Now I'm going to come in and prep the interproximal area. I'm going to use a, a, a much thinner burr at this point. We're about six minutes into it. And this is where we're going to zoom in and come right in. And now and I'm going to prep in between the teeth. Nice and easy. Again, I'm going to stay parallel. We want to get as much retention as we can. So notice how I'm just kind of peeling back the area ever so gently. And we'll have a nice wall on the mesial in which to build our contact area. There we go. Just cleaning that off. I'll run some water in there now. Great. Now the buildup extends a little bit sub G. There's been some inflammation in here, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit more. Find a good margin. I want that margin either on enamel or good solid dentin water again in there and the mirror there we go hopefully you can see that start to materialize okay okay nice and easy uh, just to watch that now and just see how I finish that margin Okay, good. That's a good start. All right, now we're going to parallel up the distal wall. So I'm going to move a little further back distally. And we can see that, and we want to make that parallel. So I'm actually going to take this on a parallel lane, and we'll take it right down. This is a, a much thinner diameter, smaller diameter burr, so you can sneak in between teeth. I always do that first before I open it up a little bit more, so I just come in gently. And I'm just keeping it parallel. in parallel. Nice and easy. You do this just the way I'm showing you. You don't ever have to worry about nicks on adjacent teeth or creating problems. 
that are unwanted. Nice and easy, just like that. We're going to get a nice long vertical contact. And we want to kind of give that back to him. Not only in the temporary, but in the final. Okay, rinse that thoroughly. Rinse it thoroughly. All right, now. How you doing, okay? All right. Out, please. change that. All right. We're at a good time to break. We'll see you at the next clip. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo in my Boca Raton office with Oleg doing tooth number 14. So I'm going to move it along. We'll prep this tooth down, get our cord in there next, and we'll show you that next uh, clip. Thanks for watching.